If you didn't know this already, Star Wars is apparently working on a what if series, much like they did with Marvel, but I am extremely worried about this show. If we base any of our expectations off of Disney's ability to hire great writers for the specific thing they want to make a film or show about, I don't have a lot of faith. Now, a lot of people are excited for this show, and I might get a little bit of hate because of my reasonings, but that's fine. I'm going to be honest. If we want an idea of how the Star Wars one is going to go, probably look at the other Disney property that they made What If series about, which is Marvel. Marvel's What If series is, in my opinion, very mid. I just think there are certain scenarios that are in that show that just aren't that interesting. I don't think anybody cares about over half of the episodes that they decided to do. It just seems like what they try to do with that is boost some characters that might not be as popular and they want them to be popular. I think the best example of that is like Peggy Carter. I mean, basically the entire show is about her and it's supposed to be a multiversal what if series. In my opinion, a what if series should not be about a coherent storyline where every episode eventually ties into each other leading up to this massive finale. It should just be a very fun show to watch and you get to see what if this thing happened. On the other hand, there were some pretty decent episodes that were very entertaining. So maybe Star Wars can just take that and do well. So what is it going to look like when it comes to Star Wars and a what if series, especially since Star Wars has never had a multiverse? I think the first thing that they need to establish is that this is not canon and there's not a multiverse. This is literally legends and it's just for fun. Disney has had a very bad habit, especially in the last phase of Marvel and some of the more recent Star Wars project of hiring writers and directors who know nothing about the thing that they're about to work on very steeped in the comics. I didn't I didn't read any comics or do any research. I wasn't familiar with comics. I wasn't familiar with the movies. We didn't lean into a whole lot of the history of the comic books. Yeah, candidly, we were not enormous um, comic fans. I wasn't super into superhero comics when I was a kid. I read a lot of like indie press stuff. First thing I was told is don't read the comics. Really? As a creator, they put you in a bubble. They don't let you talk about any of the other projects, right? You know, they're, they're up for anything. We ultimately decided to redefine it for the series and thought that it worked uh, better for the story that we're trying to tell. Did you ever read the, did you, did you, you you've no. never read the comic book. When the DVD comes out, I'm going to read a Thor comic book and just see where we went wrong. Disney hired a bunch of writers for the last phase of Marvel that had never even read a comic book, never even watched the MCU. And now Star Wars with the Acolyte has now hired someone who's never seen Star Wars. I think this is a very bold move. I think this might be an attempt to bring in some people who might not necessarily be Star Wars fans into the fandom, but you're alienating everyone who already loves that universe. I think my biggest worry about a Star Wars what if is that they try to make it a large coherent story and make it into like a multiverse type of thing like Marvel has done. And that is scary because I don't think Star Wars needs to have a multiverse. It should be just one universe, one story. So basing it off of all those things, I think the most likely outcome is that half the episodes nobody's gonna care about and they're gonna be really terrible scenarios that probably shouldn't even see the light of day. I think they're also going to use some episodes to try to boost sequel characters because they have tripled and quadrupled down on those characters and they're not going anywhere unfortunately. And then another major concern of mine is that there are already so many what if videos here on YouTube from creators like myself and many other Star Wars creators. What if they use one of those stories to a T and don't give credit where credit's due? On the other side of that coin, I think there are a couple things to be excited about, just not as many. I think the best thing Star Wars has going for it overall at the moment is that Dave Filoni is the creative director at Lucasfilm. I don't see him ruining George Lucas and his legacy. George Lucas trained him, he's like his Padawan. George Lucas is the master, Dave Filoni is the Padawan, and he's now risen to the rank of master, something Anakin could never do. Dave Filoni really cares about Star Wars, he loves it, he's a fan of it himself, and I'm really excited to see what he does, but a what if series does scare me a little bit because he might be the creative director other people are going to have their hands in it and it could turn into a mess very quickly. Something I hope they do and I think they will do because of Dave Filoni is bring in a bunch of Legends material. A What If series is the perfect place to explore Legends and let people see that. I think if they hire the right people to write and direct this and animate it, it can turn into something absolutely fantastic and everybody will love it. But if they don't and they keep doing what they've been doing, Again, it's going to split the fan base, which is a very bad thing. So do I think this is going to be a terrible show? No. But do I think it's going to be a great show? Also, no. I think it's going to be very 
middle of the line, very average for what Disney has been able to do with Star Wars. I do have some major concerns and maybe this is something that they should just leave the fans to do on YouTube like we have been doing for years at this point. Like all Star Wars things, we'll have to wait and find out. Let me know if you're excited and what you expect from a what if Star Wars series on Disney Plus down in the comments. If you absolutely love Star Wars as much as I do, make sure you subscribe because I'm also going to be streaming the Battlefront Classic Collection whenever that drops. Make sure you share this with all of your Star Wars friends. I appreciate you for watching. May the force be with you.